In this video, we will discuss designing profiles. If you'd like to follow on with this video, please open the file 0803designprofiles.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with this dataset video. Civil 3D provides tools very similar to the horizontal alignment tools to create proposed profiles. Let's create our proposed vertical alignment. To create a proposed vertical alignment or profile, go to the Create Design panel in the Home tab and choose the Profile dropdown and select the Profile Creation Tools. Again, when you don't know what to do, look to the command line window. It's asking us to pick a profile view to create a profile. Don't confuse that with the actual profile grade lines here as you see in this profile view. This is the profile view. Once you select the profile view, Civil 3D will know exactly which profile view you want to create this proposed profile. We'll go ahead and give this a name with an underscore in the front of it. This way, when we go to design our quarter model, It'll come to the top of the list, making it easier to create the corridor. Notice like all Civil 3D objects, you must select a style for this Civil 3D object. You can also provide a label set, which will automatically add line and curve labels to the profile. You can also do design criteria if you need to. Design criteria consists of minimum K tables that follow the ASHTO standards. You can also use design check sets that will actually check your vertical elements like your lines and your curves. We'll leave it off for now. I'll click OK. This opens up the profile layout tools very similar to the alignment layout tools. In fact, it's categorized exactly as the alignment layout tools are as well. So we have the PI method right here. In this case, it'd be the PVI method. We have the fixed, floating, and free type elements, except in the vertical. We have the fixed, floating, and free type curve tools, as well as the ability to convert AutoCAD lines and splines to profile elements. So let's go ahead and look at creating some PVIs. If you need to, you can actually use curve settings as well. So I'll just click on that. And you can actually define vertical curve settings like length, K value, the curve type, and so on. And you can do this in the crest and sag scenarios. We're going to create these by PVIs and then we'll actually add our own curve using the free curve tool. I'll go ahead and select this drop down and we'll choose draw tangents. It's asking me to specify a start point. And so what I want to do is I actually want to grab the elevation at a station from a surface. So I want to grab the existing ground at station three plus zero zero. So there's a transparent command. If you want to use a toolbar, you can go to the view tab, toolbars, civil, transparent commands. I'm going to type these in. And the way that you type in a transparent command is with the apostrophe, which states transparent. In other words, use this while you're in the middle of a command. And this command is SSE for surface station elevation. I'll press enter. And following the command prompts, it says select a profile view. I'll go ahead and pick my profile view. Then it says select a surface. So I'll pick my surface in this viewport. Then notice how the jig comes up, allowing me to define a station. I can snap to existing graphics if I need to. But in this case, I know the stationing, so I'll just type in 300. Press Enter. Now it looks like nothing happened, but it actually has already grabbed that point in this profile view. I just don't have another point created yet to actually define that line. So I'll click once in this profile view, and then what I will do is press Escape to get out of this transparent command, and that puts me back into the current draw tangent command. Now I want to actually call another transparent command to define a grade and station for my linear element. So this is apostrophe PGS for profile grade station. Press enter. And then following the command line window, I'll add my grade, which in this case is negative 0.02. Press enter. Notice how this jig comes up automatically that is showing you from that point, this is the grade that you are defining. And so I know the station in the profile view, and the station for this is 1778.95. Press enter, and there's my first vertical tangent. Now I want to keep going here, and I already know the station and the elevation for this last point in my profile. And so there's another transparent command called profile station elevation. If you look here, I'm still in the profile grade station transparent command. So if I wanted to keep drawing grades or tangents at grades, I could keep doing so, but in this case I'm done, so I need to press escape once. And now it's prompting me for a endpoint for this next vertical tangent. In this case, like I stated, I want to actually do this by a station elevation. So this is apostrophe PSE. Press enter. And the station for this is 2357.14.
press enter and the elevation is 114.92 press enter and as you can see there's my PVI there and my ending tangent I'll press escape once to get out of the transparent command press escape again to get out of the create vertical tangents command and just like that I have my vertical alignment now I need to add a profile curve so in the curve drop down just like in the alignment layout tools we have fixed floating and free in this case I want to create a free vertical curve and define parameters so following the command line window it says select first entity so I'm going to zoom in here a little bit and I'll pick my first entity then my next entity and then I can define a curve length right now or I could do this by radius or K value which is really cool so my vertical curve for this is 500 feet so I will enter 500 press enter now that I'm done it looks like nothing happened just hit escape and this will automatically update your labeling and vertical alignment all right so that's pretty simple pretty cool tools but now let's look at the bottom here and I've got this band that's showing me existing and finished grade elevations as you can see though right now it's showing the same elevation because it's referencing the initial profile that was created so I need to change this to actually reference the proposed profile now because I actually have a proposed profile so before I select this band I'm going to close my profile layout tools and then I'll select this band and then in the profile view properties is where the band styles and settings are defined I'll select that and navigate to the bands tab and notice the types of bands that you can add you can add profile data vertical geometry horizontal geometry super elevation sectional data and pipe data so I already have a band style at the bottom of the profile note that you can also put this at the top of the profile I'm going to scroll to the right here and you'll see that here is where profile one and profile two are defined I'll simply click on here and choose the new vertical alignment press OK and just like that I now have the existing and proposed elevations for my design this concludes this video discussing designing profiles